This episode of Die Trying is brought to you by Havilland Pro DS. Welcome to Die Trying. More cars. And actually, more fixing cars. I'm Patrick Dorton. I'm Michael Land. And we're going to SEMA, Specialty Equipment Market Association. It is Car Geek Nerdvana. Yeah, this is in Las Vegas. You'll see the coolest cars you've ever seen there. Of pretty much everything. Classic 1950s Gullwing, Mercedes, monster trucks, ridiculous cars, hot rods, race cars, classic cars. It's all beautiful. We're going in old Volvo. Yeah, so <laughs> there was a challenge. Somebody challenged us, A, to drive to SEMA, which is fine. I love driving to Vegas uh -huh. from San Francisco because I'm a freak. And two, they challenge us to do it the biggest beater we can find. Which is your old 92 Volvo. <laughs> Bought a Volvo wagon for my wife. She loves the Volvo wagon. She thinks they're the coolest thing ever. And it turned out to be more of a fixer upper than I thought. It looks like a pretty big fixer upper. Well, tires are new. Cool. The engine runs. And we gotta go. <laughs> See what is this week? <laughs> if you've ever been underneath your car, it can be kind of an amazing or kind of horrifying experience. Matter of fact, right now, I'm not really seeing all this fine engineering. Mostly, I'm looking at obvious signs of an engine oil leak because of all the cruft that's on the front of the transmission pan. I can clearly see how trash this engine mount is. We have to replace that before we go on a road trip. Otherwise, the engine's likely to pretty much fall into this cross member here. You know, it looks like the seal in between the head and the engine is leaking the oil. I don't like that. In any case, we're gonna get a fresh oil filter back on this. We're gonna change out this engine mount and finish our tune up and get ready for our road trip. There's a couple other things this car could use. All right, oil filters. So first thing you wanna do, put a little bit of oil on top of this little gasket here because it'll seal it better. We did do that last time, I just didn't put it in the cut. So no comments this time. While we're under the hood, we noticed some of the vacuum hoses were looking pretty grody. We replaced the nasty ones and made sure all the vacuum lines were attached and we had no vacuum leaks. We also swapped in a fresh flame trap. It's a positive crankcase ventilation part that's very peculiar to Volvos. And if it gets clogged, it can create some really epic oil leaks. All right, I got the first of two bolts off of the engine mount we are replacing. And, uh, and I'm gonna work on that down here while Michael is up top putting fresh Haviland Pro DS in my engine. Clean oil, filthy Patrick. All right, we drained out our old oil, so let's put in this new stuff. We're using Havilland Pro DS. They're our sponsor, but they're also pretty awesome. Full synthetic deposit shield is what the DS stands for. This is an advanced formulation to help maximize your fuel economy. It's excellent performance in extreme temperature ranges and unbeatable wear and friction control to protect your critical engine parts. This car takes four quarts of oil. Make sure to check your manual to see how much your car needs. It'll be in there. Ooh, oh, too fast. Okay, we're good. The idle on the Volvo is a tad rough. I'm not sure if a professional mechanic would approve, but I pulled a spark plug boot off each cylinder one by one. The idle got worse on every cylinder but the number one cylinder, which has me thinking that there's something wrong with the ignition or fuel injection on that cylinder. And since the sockets inside two of the plug boots ripped out as I pulled a couple of the wires off, I'll be putting on a fresh set of plug wires when we tune the beast up. And I'm also thinking about buying a proper spark plug boot puller. So, basic tune up, new plugs, the new wires won't fit over a terminal nut, so we screwed them off each plug. The gap measured okay, so we put a small dab of anti-seize on the steel plug threads to keep them from sticking in the aluminum head. By the way, keep the anti-seeds away from and off the electrodes. We swapped in a new distributor cap and rotor. The tip on the old rotor was mildly corroded. The new rotor is also a bit beefier than the one it's replacing. And make sure you attach the right plug wire to the right tower on the distributor cap. Okay, between the tune-up and the engine mounts, things are starting to look better under the hood. Ready to go to Vegas, learn some new crafting techniques, see some amazing tools and cars? As long as we actually make it. We're going through Death Valley, dude. Come on, let's go, it's time. Probably put the hood down. And take it off the jack. Yeah. See you in Vegas, people. <laughs>